So hi, Sarah. <laughs> Hello. Thanks so much for joining me on the Five Deep Breaths blog today. Um, I really wanted to talk to you about your app, Mush, which I know has been out for a while. But um, why I was interested, I first saw it a few months ago, advertised in a, a cafe in Twickenham, just near where I live. And as a psychologist who works with parents, and also I'm expecting my first baby in November, so I was just really interested to hear more from you about, you know, what is Mush and, and how does it work? Um, so Mush is a free app for mums to find local mum friends. It's a very simple premise. It's a bit, a bit like using a dating app, I suppose. Uh, you go on, you create a profile and you see other mums who are close by, who are due at the same time as you, who've got kids the same age. And really the, the idea of Mush is that we firmly and passionately believe that, it, that being um, a parent is much more fun uh, if you can team up and do it together. Um, so the story of Mush is, yeah. it really comes from uh, me and my co-founder. Uh, so we met when we had our second babies. Uh, it was two and a half years ago now, um, and we both had newborns uh, strapped in baby Bjorns yeah, yeah. on the front, uh, and we had toddlers who were sort of chasing around and screaming. And mm -hmm. It was a really horrible day, I should also say. It was like no one else was in the playground. No one else wanted to be there. I don't think we wanted to be there, but we had to get out of the house. You know, it was one of those things I just stay sane. Um, I'd seen Katie at a couple of uh, play groups. I noticed her. She looked like she had a baby pretty much the same age as me. She looked normal. Uh, so I went up to her in a very sleep deprived haze and basically asked her to be my friend yeah. uh, and given that I'm quite a shy person that's was quite an unusual thing for me to do you know we swapped numbers I think both our children were screaming at the time so we barely barely spoke uh, anyway we, we we followed up I remember like texting her and telling my husband had a first date and you know and we, but the, the important thing was we became great friends and whilst we didn't do anything particularly exciting with our days with these very small children um, and it was winter, you know, yeah. we just had someone to hang out with and had someone to laugh about, you know, we could laugh together about things that perhaps have been keeping us up all night and we've been in tears about, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it was a sort of few months later when we were celebrating having survived yet another week. Um, I think it was like a kid's tea time, or we maybe even, mm -hmm. you know, a glass of Prosecco to, to, to go with it. And um, we thought, goodness, you know, this friendship has been so important uh, and, every mum deserves to have mum friends uh, and so many people don't and that was what um, that thought led to us doing a bit of research into it and seeing how many mums feel very isolated uh, and you know it's a real challenge being a mum um, and you know just having friends nearby can be transformative. Mm. That's an amazing story and and obviously there's two of you in this. So what, I mean, what's the response been like to, to the Mush app? Uh, so we launched it last spring um, and to be fair, Katie or I hadn't built an app before. So, you know, we launched mm. an app which just about worked uh, and the response was amazing. In fact, almost too good. I think we managed to break every bit of the app within the first couple of weeks. <laughs> um, but that was a good thing <laughs> in hindsight. Uh, and we've grown incredibly quickly since then. We've grown our team uh, and we now have um, an app which does work brilliantly and also has many other features. Mm. And the best thing about it is the response we get from mums uh, mm. that we have, you know, changed their maternity leave and provided a lifeline for them during some, oh. you know, some tough times. Um, yeah. So we're all about, you know, very real, non-judgmental um, parenting, but, you know, just it's more fun when you, when you team up. Mm. It sounds amazing and I know because obviously I'm going to be a mum in November and I'm kind of waiting <laughs> for, for all this but I'm sort of yeah. aware that it can be you know obviously a really an incredible joyful time to have a Absolutely. baby but also you know I do hear from a lot of parents and a lot of my friends just how isolating it can actually be and how lonely it can be at times. I think that um, certainly came as a huge surprise to me uh, and I, I sort of knew it was going to be not easy yeah, people have yeah. told me that um but i had a busy job you know i mm. run marathons you know I, I kind of thought you know it was going to be it was going to be fine mm -hmm. and i had my first baby and i was completely floored by it i um mm. i just i found it incredibly hard to cope with um long days by myself at home mm. uh you know babies are as you say so many wonderful and glorious brilliant things mm. uh 
but they are not great company actually not all the time anyway you <laughs> it's not having a conversation i guess exactly. yeah, conversation yeah exactly and and um you know, the first couple of weeks, there's lots of people who come over and then suddenly you're at home and actually it's, mm. it's hard traveling with small babies, um, mm. getting on buses and stuff. You, just, yeah. you don't often feel up for it and you often haven't had a lot of sleep um, mm. and you can find yourself spending days at home um, or just going to the supermarket for a conversation. And certainly mm. something I used to do, go to, my, <laughs> go to my local supermarket just to kind of get out of the house and yeah. hope that one of the checkout ladies might have a quick chat with me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My baby, basically. Um, so it, it was a real surprise to me, and that, that was the first time round. And second time round, the reason I went up to Katie and was able to ask for her numbers is because I knew how tough it was, and I knew I couldn't do it by myself mm -hmm. um, without going a bit crazy anyway. So it, 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 it's a surprise, I think, um, or certainly was to me, uh, and we hear from our community that mm -hmm. how lonely it can be and how you don't necessarily expect those very long days at home. Mm -hmm. A lot of our community say, you know, they've never spent time in their home before. They don't know their neighbours, mm -hmm. uh, and it's very strange suddenly to find yourself at sort of Tuesday afternoon in your street. Like you've, you've never done that before. Why would you? Um, yeah. I always joke, you know, I, I used to know all the, like the delivery drivers' names, <laughs> lighted when they should. <laughs> yeah, because um, I know, you know, you suddenly get to know your community, and that's a, that's a special thing. And really, much is all about enabling that and helping mums find yeah other mums nearby who are in the same boat who are going through those similar challenges but also the highs as well and, and can share those together because i think that's the really important bit isn't it is having people who are going through it at the same time as you who are in the same yeah, exactly other parents yeah um i think it, i think that's a really important point because yeah. these aren't people who haven't got loads of friends mm. you know but when you've got a new baby and you you can mm. quite happily spend yeah. an hour talking about you know their wind situation or this, you know, their nappies or something. Your, your friends do not want to hear that. <laughs> in fact, even friends who've got older kids kind of don't remember that. Yeah. that now. They've gone through that stage and obviously exactly. friends who haven't got kids are uh, yeah. really going to want to hear that. Exactly. So you really just need people going through exactly what you're going through. Yeah. And I mean, you mentioned you were quite shy because I imagine, you know, this is great for parents who are quite confident and are able to put themselves out there. But what about you if you are a little bit more shy and yes, do you find it more funny. difficult to approach people? You know, what advice would you have? The thing, um, um, yeah, the thing uh, that uh, we, we talked a lot about to our community and the great thing about much is everyone's there for the same reason. Everyone's kind of got like, yeah, we're in this together. We're, we're, we're like, let's, let's be open about this. Let's, let's get together. So there's a really warm, friendly um, atmosphere amongst our community. Uh, and um, we actually fairly recently launched, uh, so when you create your profile, you can you add little tags to it. And we actually added one quite recently due to popular demand, which said uh, a bit shy or something like that. Uh, and it's actually one of our most popular tags, which is oh, really interesting. Yeah. Um, so there is, you know, cause, but there is a sense uh, that we have that motherhood is such a great leveler uh, and mm. you know, you immediately struck up, strike up um, a kind of relationship or so you've got something in common with someone immediately if you've got a child who's of a similar age mm. uh, and and that really the the app, the app embraces that mm. um we've also just developed our product slightly because there is mm. you know, we spoke a lot to us and it is a bit intimidating to have to hit yeah. a high button and yes. start the conversation. Kinder dating as you but said exactly. earlier <laughs> exactly so we've um recently introduced um what we call mush-ups which oh. are groups that you're automatically placed in who are your local mum group mm. uh, so for me where I live I live in SW14 and I have my group of SW14 mums who are already part of conversation who you can just without having to connect with them you're already in a conversation with them which is um we're finding incredibly uh, helpful for mums and mm. just to have people to chat to who are nearby and then arrange meetups with Mm. So if you just talk me through it, so as a new mum mm. and I want to go and use your app, so yeah. do I, what do I do? Do I create a profile and, you know, so you said yeah. there's certain sort of criteria and then what else do I upload onto my profile and how do I do this? <laughs> yeah, it's super easy. So it's completely free on um, both Apple and uh, Android. Uh, and what you do is you download it and then you create a profile, which is pretty easy to do. Uh, you put on your kids' ages or due date. Um, you put on some tags which describe you. Uh, 
uh, and you upload a photo um, and, um, and then you're ready to go. And then you can browse other mums who are close by to you. You can search by interest, you can search by kids' ages. We think it's really important. Proximity is something we um, focus on a lot because of the difficulty it can be when you're traveling far with, with small kids. Yeah. Uh, you know, there are some really active kind of uh, subgroups within much things like mums of multiples, for example. You know, if you've got a specific situation that you've been you know you're going through gosh you really want to talk to other mums who've got twins as well mm -hmm. um you know adoptive parents single parents um so there, there are particular um niches within within mush which um where people find it you know really helpful to be able to search for people who are experiencing the same kind of uh challenges and excitement that they are so and is it mainly aimed at mums or is it mums and dads? Because I, I, I felt like it was more for mums, but tell yeah, me. Yeah, it, it definitely is more for mums. Um, but we do welcome dads and we have some really um, success, lovely success stories that dads have found um, friends on there as well. It's, it's a really funny one and we definitely need to uh, improve our experience for dads. Um, there is, I guess, because Katie and I made an app that we needed ourselves and we built for ourselves, so it, it does have a mum focus. And, and, you know, there are more mums who, who need it than that at the moment. But hopefully with shared parental leave, um, that will be beginning to be in swing the other way. So, um, yes, dads are allowed to use They're allowed parents. to come on and yeah. come out of it. That's but, good. They're not but, excluded. No, they're not excluded. But they, do, they may not feel as welcome as they should do because yeah. everything we do, it does say mum at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and, and I'm just because I've just popped into my head because I'm really aware of kind of safety of children and you know handing out details I and mean, how much of the details of your children do you have to put online I mean is it just the age or just the age yeah I mean we obviously take safety um very seriously um we don't show any of your details you don't know, show your address or anything like that uh we um you can you can put nicknames or names of your kids if you want to but uh, you don't have to, you know, we give guidelines to, you know, just being sensible online, uh, you know, and not talking about where your kids go to school or anything like that, you know, that's, that's um, obviously key. But um, yeah, on the whole, it's, 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 it's like a, a dating app and we, it, you know, expect people to use it sensibly in, in the same way. So if you've had like stories from mums, do you yeah. get do people write to you and tell you about their friendships? I mean, I'm really interested to know. It's amazing. And I, I could I could talk about it all day and the stories that we have because it, yeah. it, it you know, it fuels everything that we do. And yeah. mums, I, I think that, you know, the point that comes out that it, it can really change the way you view your, your that phase of your life, which is such an important phase of your life and your baby's life. Mm. Uh, if you've got someone who understands what you're going through, who you can moan to, who you can, yeah. you know, brag to, who you can, you know, just hang out with and not say anything to because you're too tired yeah. to talk. Yeah. Um, it, it's it's great, and uh, yeah, we have a huge. We we have a lovely lovely warm friendly community who write to us frequently saying thank you uh, and it's yeah it makes my day every time <laughs> oh so lovely and and do people tend to kind of initially how does it work you know meet up for coffee i mean uh, it's, what, how does it work in that way it's really interesting actually because i think that um one, another thing comes quite surprising to people as well as the kind of need for local friends is is it can be quite expensive if you go to a lot of baby classes and things like that. So we hear a lot from mums, so just go for a walk, you know, that can be so great to clear your head uh, and to, you know, just to be with someone else and hopefully the baby's pretty calm when they're in the pram or whatever. Um, so it's, it, you know, or go, for, go for a cup of coffee or, you know, just hang out and have a cup of tea and some cake yeah. or go for a night out and get rid of the babies and, and, and <laughs> Wow. celebrate this the fact you're surviving this strange overwhelming and amazing time yeah it sounds so lovely and supportive <laughs> i'm just wondering on the other on the other way what about if two mums meet and they really don't get on i mean there are going to be those times when yeah, you're yeah. And we, someone and we we have we have some like people don't don't talk to us about that very much i think it comes back to this idea that if you're meeting someone who's got a child the same age as you you're not going to be stuck for conversation it's not going to be like one of those being set up, set up on a blind date with someone who you have nothing in common with and you're like I can't because whatever happens you've got a baby and you can talk about yeah. you know, what, what the routine is at the moment and what you're going through so yeah. we, we we never hear hear of those stories and you know and you know these are women who are kind of grown-ups and it's yeah. Yeah. fine if you, if you don't go on a second date you know it's <laughs> 
<laughs> sometimes. Yeah. And you talked about your community. So I was just wondering, is it just London based or is this national? You know. um, so no, absolutely we're national. Um, we've actually got a great following in Australia as well, so we're actually international. Ooh, um, and we're, we're growing really fast. But we started in London, um, so because again we started where we wanted and where we lived, uh, which was southwest London, but now we're across the country. Uh, yeah, we, pretty much anywhere you, you sign in uh, in the UK, you'll, you'll find some other mushers close by. Great, so it's national, international, global. Yeah. In Australia, yes. <laughs> Australia. Yeah. That's incredible. Um, so what do you plan for the future with your app? Are there kind of things that you're going to do to build on this? So obviously yeah. you set up this incredible app and I think it's wonderful that you kind of acted on your initiative and from your own experiences and created and created this for other parents. But what's the future? Uh, yeah, it's been, it's been an adventure and it will continue to be. So we are launching new features like the mush-ups I just described earlier, which is group chats, essentially local group chats. Uh, in a few weeks, we're launching mush places. So we hear a lot from my mum's great. You know, we've, we've, um, we found our friends now, but we need to know where to go. And like, actually, that's really hard when you're suddenly with a baby and you've never noticed which, ha which shops have a ramp or which there are playgroups. No one tells you where the local playgroups are from. <laughs> <laughs> like normally run by like a you know a, a lovely retired old lady uh and um so all that kind of local knowledge mm -hmm. and sharing that, um in, within kind of local reviews of coffee shops that have high chairs and all those kinds of things you need to know where's good to breastfeed uh yeah. where you can have your toddler's hair cut without them screaming the place down or if they do <laughs> um yeah, you know, that kind of thing. yeah that is such useful information yeah. Yeah, so sharing we... local knowledge really is, is, yeah. is where we're moving towards um yeah. and yeah we've got we've got lots of plans that's fantastic that sounds wonderful Thank you. um so i mean i'm just going to wrap up now but i guess is there anything else you'd like to add or if there's any message that you would like to give any mums or dads out there regarding your app or uh yeah i mean i i, I think our ethos here at mush is that you know every mum should you know look after themselves and if they're happy then their children will be happy too and I think that there's a huge amount of pressure on mums and uh you know particularly if you're sat at home scrolling through Instagram feeds of when everyone else looks they have perfect children and having a wonderful maternity leave and you can sometimes that can be you know really tough um and what I would say is you know try and find a local mum friend get out there you know go for a walk have a cup of coffee and realize that everyone's in the same boat uh, and everyone's finding it challenging, um, but being a mum is, is pretty amazing. That's really inspiring. I think, yeah, I mean, I, I guess just adding that, yeah, it, it is you do think probably everyone else is doing a better job than you and they're not going mm -hmm. through what you're going through. It's hard, when, I guess, in those times when you're sleep deprived and on your own, um, when I've talked to mums and dads, you know, having their own silent battles, really. Um, and it can be hard to remember there are other people out there also struggling. So yes, exactly. So your app and connecting with other people, other mums really serves that. So okay. thank you so much, Sarah. That's really helpful. And I'm going to definitely be using your app <laughs> come November um, right. to meet other mums around here because I think you know I'm going to need that because you know as we all do, we all need friendship don't we we all need people to support us we can't do this on our own no we're not should we <laughs> no one should be doing it on their own no so thank you so much thank you for having me thank you